The bird is the word. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the mastermind creations, Inventor! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have reformatted, there you have an image there of Inventor. Warning! Don't eat anything in this box, that could be very bad for you. On this side of the box, we have the rest of the picture. Inventor, strategist. On this side of the box, we have Inventor. On the other side of the box, we have Inventor. On the bottom, we have obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things, stuff, stuff, things, and things, and stuff. On this side of the box, we have just a big picture. Arr, warning! Again, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included, we get not just one, but two collector's cards. We get one for Inventa on his own, with his tech specs, if that interests you. And you also get one for the combined mode of Inventa Magna. And again, tech specs, if that interests you. Hooray for cards. And moving right along, here we have Inventa, and this is the second component of Mastermind Creations' take on Skylink. So hooray, we finally got the rest of them. So here we have the big old shuttle here, and uh, it's quite nicely done. It looks pretty cool. Not a whole lot to it, as you can see, but still very nice. It does have a bit of heft to it as well, which is always good. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You have that yellow transparent plastic there for the cockpit section. You just get a little bit of molded detail. Not a whole lot to talk about here. You get the gold going down the side and up here on the tail fin as well. Very nice gold paints. And you get a bit of molded detail throughout. You get the blue trim there on the wings. Which looks quite nice. On the back, you got the big old thrusters there done in a gun of metal gray. You do have the landing gear, which do roll actually very nicely. It does roll nice and smooth like. So you get some good rolling going on there. And there you have that. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the uh, Combiner Wars Skylinks. Let's see how that works out. Here he is with MP10, just so you can see. Oh, it scales there with the big boss bot. And here he is with the G1 version because it's precious! So, so precious. Whoosh. And lastly, here it is with Magna, the other component. You can just see the two pieces there side by side. So now we can finally combine the two. So what you're going to do here is just Flip in the uh, landing gear, just flip that in, close up that little panel, flip that in, close the panel. And what's going to happen here is you have this little T-tab right here and this right here. And that's just going to slide in right in here and that's going to clip in right there. So you just get this all lined up, all nice like, and just give that a push down and if you have everything in the right place, it should just clip right in, which, of course, it wants to fight me. I think I'm in the right spot here. Whoops! Hey! Oh! Oh! Hey! Hey, buddy! Hey! 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 Easy there. There we go. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, man! Don't do that! Jeez, all right. But there you go! There you have... The fully combined Inventa Magna there in its old mode. And, you know, it works. Again, everything rolls. Rolls as rolling things should. So, you got that going on. And again, here it is with the Combiner Wars version. Whoosh. Here it is with MP10. Broom. And here it is with G1, precious. So there you have that. So, 
some other little features here that we can talk about before we get down to transforming is you can open up this little section right here. You can see you get some detailing going on and you also get this little, uh, this little arm here that can come out. You can rotate on a hinge at the base, hinge here, a little hinge there, that little claw, little claw can open and close like a little claw does. Little claw, oh, little claw. It's a little claw. There you go. <laughs> but hey, that's a thing you can do if you want to do it. And that just packs right in there. You can see a little bit of detail there, some gray paints. Not a whole lot to talk about, but hey, it's a little feature that is there for you if you want. And also, this little section here, the tail fin, can. Rotate from side to side. So hey, that's a thing. That's a thing it can do. Just like things that do things. But yeah. So there you go. And that is pretty much it for the alt mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> let's get back here. So we're going to transform the top section here. So we can take a look at what he looks like. All by his lonesome. So we're just going to untie the section, slide them back. Put Magna off to the side, and we shall transform the shuttle portion here. So, first thing we are going to do is we're going to take the wing sections and just pull them out, like so. Just pull that out, pull that out, right there, and we got that done. So, uh, should we start with the front or the Yeah, we'll start with the back. There we go. <laughs> so... It's my genius decision-making process. I worked there. That's my thinking noise. That's my thinking noise. Anyway, so we're going to come back here. We're going to just untab this section here. Just get that untabbed. You want to untab the tail fin section here. So just bring that up. There's also a little tab that goes in right back here. So just untab all that. Free that up. And you want to open this here because you need this for clearance. So all of this can open up like so. And you can see his tail is just kind of tucked up in there. And you just take all this, and all this will just come down, like so. And here you can see how the tail is folded up in there. So we're just going to just straighten the tail out here. Straighten it out. Make sure you straighten out this uh, hinge as well. So there we got the tail. And then you're going to come back here, and this is going to swing out to the side, like so. And you're going to take the tail, and there is a case of having to push things past things, which I'm not a fan of, but it's the only way to do it. And the instructions tell you, be careful. But um, just get the tail past this section here. Again, just be careful. Be, be careful. Come on. There we go. Let's get that past it. There you go. Then you want to close this back up. Right there. Oops. There you go. Like so. Flip this little panel up. And we're going to just leave all this alone right now. Because now we have to take the legs and just bring, bring them down. And there are some pretty good ratchets here. Some pretty good heavy ratchets. There we go. Just bring the legs down, and now that the legs are down, we can finish up with all of this here. So now we can just close this back up, bring it back down, and you can see a little tab that goes over. Just get all that situated on either side. Like so, you can see that little panel just fills in that little gap right there. And now we can close this back up, like that. And there we go. So we got his tail all done, and now we can work on the legs. So you're just going to just straighten out his legs, bring down the foot. You can splay out little toes here. And those have heels, which in the JTI, I totally forgot to flip these out, but you can flip out these heels as well. And same thing on the other side. Bring that down, bring that down. Lay out the claws, the claw, and get the heel out, which sometimes can be a pain. There we go. Get the heel, and what you're going to do now is you're going to take the legs, and they will actually 
slide outward. The easiest way to do this is just take this and just rotate it outward. That helps you swing it out. Like that. So it swings out to the side. And boop. There you go. And you have the legs all done. You kind of you have multiple joints to work with there with the legs. Well, we'll get to that in a little bit. So now that we have him standing here, we can now work on the head section. So I'm going to come down here to this panel and undo this, which is quite snug. There we go. Undo this. And you also want to undo this. Oh, this is one piece here that we have to unsnap. And this is on there very securely. Maybe a little too securely. It's kind of pain in the butt. There we go. Let's bring all that down like so. And then we can take the neck here and just extend that outward. We take these sections here and just bring them back. There's a little tab and slot right in there for that. And same thing on the other side. Just untab that. Bring the wing down a little bit. Let's get that out of the way. Bring that back. Tab that in. Make sure that neck is fully extended. And now we will just finish up on the head section here. So just kind of angle the head down. This section here. So a double hinge. Just kind of bring that forward. These sections just rotate back like that. Rotate back. There you go, and we can open his mouth. And we got that going on. And now for this section here, all this is just going to come down. That will just tab in there, and then this will collapse down like so. See little tabs and slots in there. Tab that in there, and just straighten all that out. Get that all tabbed in like, like so. Get his feet situated here. There we go. And the last thing we are going to do here is we are going to just extend this blue section here of the wing and bring out these sections here. So extend. Also do angle out a bit. And we can extend this section here. And just get everything situated, get his legs straightened out. Whoop. Get his neck straightened out. And there you go. There you have Inventor in his beast mode. And he's a really good looking Skylynx, in my opinion. He's a, a very nice update to the uh, to the character. I quite dig it. I quite dig it. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that. Big old noggin of his. Oh, look at that noggin. <laughs> you can see his mouth can open and close. You do have a little uh, cannon in there. All of his teeth are painted in a gunmetal gray. You can see the neck just done all in red. We get some gold detail here as revealed in the wings, which is quite nice. Here's big old feet. And the tail, again, just done all in red. Very in keeping with the uh, with the Skylink's paint scheme, but looks quite good uh, now. Articulation-wise, uh, as you can see, the mouth can open and close. The head can move up and down. You also do get rotation. Uh, the neck is filled with joints. Yeah, joints going all the way up, all the way down, and it can also go from side to side as well. Um, I have seen some people complaining about the neck being loose. Seems to be a case of your mileage may vary because mine is, mine's fine. Mine, you know, you can hold the pose. I mean, sometimes, though, if I'm messing with him, his head will kind of droop down, but that's just if I'm messing with him. But for the most part, I mean, his neck can hold the pose just fine, so... It does seem like it does seem like that's a case of your mileage may vary on that. Now, as far as the uh, wings go, the wings can rotate. They can also move up 
and move down on a nice ratchet. Again, you kind of angle that wing how you want. The section of the wing is on a hinge that so can move forward and back. So you can angle that however you wish. The tail is totally loaded with the joints. You have joints that move up and down as well as joints that move side to side on every section here. So you get lots of posability here on the tail. So very nice, very posable. And uh, coming down to the legs, legs, I can swing out on that hinge there, I can swing out that way. You have a ratcheted joint here, I can move forward. You have a ratcheted joint here, I can move back that far. And the feet can also move up, move down a bit on a ratchet. And you do have ankle tiltage, again, you can splay those toes out as much as you want, and you get that heel, which can move downward if you need it to. Now, just like with Magna, he does have a light-up feature. Oh, one, uh, one more little thing to talk about articulation-wise is uh, his little tongue cannon. Can move up and down if you want it to, but talking about the uh, light-up feature here, uh, the battery compartment is right up in here. It's in the uh, roof of his mouth. And you just pop up a little battery. Compartment here, you can see two batteries in there. It takes two AG2 batteries, two AG2s, which are not included. You will have to get those yourself, but they are fairly cheap to get on Amazon. And there is a button right back here, right in the back of his head, right there. And when you push it, there you go. Don't know how well you can see that. There you go. His eyes glow a nice bright red which is pretty cool so nice little light up feature there for you if you want to take advantage of it so now for some more comparisons we're gonna have a lot of comparisons in this video so here he is again with the combiner warriors version oh he's so tiny here he is with the G1 version. You want to talk about loose necks? Here's a loose neck. That just doesn't stay up at all, but here, here it is. <laughs> with the G1 version. Ah. Here he is with MP10. And here he is with Magna. So you can now see the two side by side there. So now let's get down to combining Inventor and Magna here to make the full-on Skylink. So what we need to do here is we need to come to the booty section here and we need to flip his feet back in. So we need to undo all this so we can open this back up. So we can then open this section back up. Flip that open, bring that down. And we're just going to fold his legs back up. So just flip that claw back in and bring the leg up. Bring the foot up and just collapse those claws in. And do the same thing on the other side. Just put that in, collapse the claws. And just bend the leg up at the knee. You want to take the hips here and just collapse them back in to the body like so. And then we just take the legs and we just push them back up into the body like that. Collapse that back up. And push this back up into the body. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Now what's going to happen here, and this is the part that sometimes likes to fight me, you want to make sure that the, uh, the claws are open enough because you got these two tabs here. They're going to go in between his toes there. And sometimes it wants to work just fine. Sometimes it wants to fight you. Hopefully this will be one of those times. Hey, it didn't fight me. There we go. Just collapse all that back up. And close that back up. Like so. Now we can close that back up. And just get all this back where it was. Get that back where it was. And... Now we go. 
Got that. And you're going to take the wings here and you're just going to rotate them around like so. You can see we get some more detail picked out in gold there. Now we just rotate this way around. And there we go. So now we're going to take this assembly here, just untab all of this, which this loves to hold on really secure. There we go. Take this, and you're going to rotate this around like so, and just bring it up, and just leave it there for now. And he is pretty much ready to go. So now, all you're going to do with Magna here to get him prepped is you're just going to flip his head back in, and push his tails back in, and that's all you have to do to get him prepped and ready to go. So, now that we have both pieces, we just connect them the same way they did in their alt mode. So just slide this, slide that in. Make sure that his body is angled just so, because there's a specific way that everything has to sit here. That should slide in, there we go. And hopefully this will clip in. There we go. So we got that right there. And now we come down here. This section here will just come down over that like so. And this little panel down here will extend and come down. And there are just two slots right here for those two tabs right up in there. So, you have everything lined up right. I should just tab right in there. There we go. Let's get those wings, however you want. Get his head up. And there you go. There you have the full, complete Inventor Magna. And he looks quite, quite cool and he's very large kind of hard to get them all in frame there there we go that's better there you have the full-on inventa magna aka skylinks and that looks really cool that looks really cool i think this turned out really well in my opinion really like that really dig that and again you have all the same articulation in inventa you have the same articulation in magna have those wings doing whatever you want there but all in all that's really cool. That is really, really cool. So, there you have that. And now for comparison. Again, here he is with the Combiner Wars version. Oh, he's just so tiny. He looks like a little baby. Oh, whoosh. Here he is with G1 Skylinks because he's precious. Oh, he's so precious. Whoosh. Here he is with. MP10. And just because here he is with the uh, Siege Voyager Prime, and I think that might work out a little bit better scale wise. But there you go. So there you have Inventa Magna. Um, really well done, in my opinion. I'm really happy to finally have the completed Skylinks on my shelf now. It looks really cool. I, I really dig it. Now, as I said earlier in the video, um, as far as the issue with the loose neck, it seems like that's a case of your mileage may vary. Mine is fine. So uh, I'm not really sure about that. That just seems like a, uh, a luck of the draw thing. But, you know, it is what it is. But all in all, when this is fully combined, this is a solid, hefty chunk of robot here. So, yeah, I'm very happy with it. I think they did a very good job. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Mastermind Creations' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Mastermind Creations Inventor. And this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Home in your face. Ah, oh, Skylinks. Glad you could finally make it. Now come with me. I've set up a bountiful feast of birdseed for you. Birdseed?
You know something, Prime? Sometimes your words, they're a bit offensive. Oh, come on now. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. I set up a big bird bath for you, too. Come on. What the bird bath? But is, is the water warm? I, I, I like warm water.